rather unexpectedly, I unlocked <laughs> a dinosaur that just gives me fits when I play against it in the battle arena. And so I'm gonna show you what that dinosaur is as soon as I find a place to sit down, maybe in some shade. And it also got me thinking, one of the elements, one of the DNA components of this dinosaur is really difficult for me to come by. I have a hard time finding it out in the wild. And I started thinking, wow, you know what? There are a lot of really, really good dinosaurs that are hybrids of this particular dinosaur. So what I'm gonna do today is A, I'm gonna show you which dinosaur it was that I created, and it is a new one for me. I'm very excited about it. But B, it's kind of a chill day in Jurassic World Alive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put together an entire strike team using components of this one specific dinosaur, and then I'm gonna take it into the battle arena. Most likely I'm gonna get slaughtered, but I think it's pretty competitive. So. As soon as I can find a place to sit down, set up shop, we're gonna jump into today's video. What I mean by pretty chill day in Jurassic World Alive is there just doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on. I've only seen the one strike tower. It's a common class strike tower. I think it was either two or three steps for the Fallen Kingdom. Nothing too difficult, I would imagine, for a vast majority of the players of this game. In fact, I would go ahead and say that pretty much everybody is going to be able to take that down. So I'm gonna go ahead and dart this Stegosaurus because I honestly think I have zero Stegosaurus DNA in my pool. So 388 there. And that's gonna give me 439. So as you can see, I did not really have very much at all. And let's see, this may be it. The Kingdom Strike. Oh, well this one's five. So this one's not bad. You Today only, you've got um, five steps and then you do have that. Basically it's an eight hour incubator. So those are usually pretty good. You're definitely gonna get some epic DNA out of that. And then the Kingdom Strike, that's the same one. It was this one over here that I know was less and that's a three strike. So definitely stuff to do. Both those expire today. I would, I would highly recommend. There's good DNA available, so I'd highly recommend going and doing that. But the dinosaur that I unlocked right here, Eudorhinex. Like this thing was such a pain for me and it shouldn't have been because I live in Habitat Zoo. Uh, <laughs> Habitat Zoo? No. I live in Habitat Zone 2, which should have given me all the Draco Rex that I needed. The problem was Sino. But Sino is the one that I feel like is the key to a lot of good dinosaurs. Just at entry level, this is a baby Rhinox. 3291 for the health, the damage of 1113, speed of 126, armor zero, crit 5%. One times damage of strike, which most of the time you're never gonna use. Most of the time you're never going to use, okay? Uh, we're just gonna go with it. Impact and run, one and a half times damage, automatic swap, cooldown of one, delay, down, delay of one, I really don't even know why the cooldown is there because if you impact and run, then you leave unless you're pinned down. So that's, maybe it's only there for being pinned down so you can't impact and run twice. Distracting Rampage, two times damage. Target's damage is reduced 50% for two turns with a cooldown of two. And Instant Charge, priority move, deals one times damage, 75% chance to stun for one turn, a cooldown of two, and a delay of one very good dinosaur and very annoying if you've ever faced this in the battle arena to play around it's it's got such a move set that it can cause problems for tanks it can cause problems for speedy dinos it's a it's a great utility dinosaur maybe it honestly it's one of the best ones in the game that got me thinking i'm gonna go ahead and modify my team here because what i want to do is like allosino includes sino and, and you see the trend here. So I'm gonna to continue to modify my team as best as I possibly can. You know, you have Utah Sino, the Raptor, also really good. And the thing about Utah Sino is you can cycle through it. I've had a, I had a huge problem climbing up the ranks, battling against this dinosaur, because it can cycle through its movesets and never have to use the strike. It's, 
and it does a lot of damage and it, it's very difficult to to play around so we're gonna add that one in there um, let's see there's Alosino we have Thor already we have Eudorinex which leaves what else am I missing well we're, we're missing the root of the problem here and that's Sino and Sino is good if you have it up to team level I'm way behind on team level so for me it's probably not really gonna be great I'm gonna try it anyways just because I'm I'm crazy like that but the possible hybrids are so I have Sino I have Udo Sino I have Allo Sino so that's and then we have Thor Eudorhinex and Thor. So I have one, two, three, four, five, which means I really need to fill out three more spots on my team. I have a little bit of everything. I kind of have a tankier dinosaur. I have two chompers. I have two speedier dinosaurs with my raptors. I have to stay, like I would love just to do whatever, but I have to keep dinosaurs close to team level or I'm, I'm, it's not even gonna be fun because Honestly, the last two battles I've had in the battle arena have been against opponents where my the lowest dinosaur on my opponent's team was like 26, and I only have one 26, and it's my highest by a couple of levels, so that wouldn't even be fun to watch. I'm going to take out Delta for this experiment. I, I, I'm kind of going to use Draco Rex Gen 2 as a, a crutch. I'm going to use Tenanta Rex. So there's the team. Now, in an ideal world, I will get you know, any four between Eudorhinex, uh, Sinoceratops, Thor, Utah Sinoraptor, or Allosinosaurus. In reality, I will probably get uh, Indoraptor, Tenontorex, and Dracorex Gen 2, and then one of them. But we'll do a couple of battles here, and I'm almost ready for an incubator. So as soon as this first battle is over, it'll be time to unlock an incubator and then we can battle some more. I'm gonna do two out of three. I'm gonna see just how good these dinosaurs really are. I think they're really good. Um, and we got a great mix here. So I'm actually gonna open with Eudorhinex, the newest of my dinosaurs. And this is not a great matchup for Eudorhinex. Spino is such a pain to deal with. Unless you crit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, Eudorhinex is a pain to deal with, and I, I hate going against it. It is one of the dinosaurs that, without fail, I will always break out Draco Rex Gen 2 early on, just like my opponent just did, in order to get rid of it. So that's, uh, that's actually going to be pretty nice for me because now I'm going to counter their Draco Rex Gen 2. If you didn't catch my video, Ooh, I don't have Thor. I'm gonna have to go with Allosino, which is slower, so that's bad news. If you didn't watch my video on ways to counter Draco Rex Gen 2, I did a video on that. You can, uh, I'll put a link in the comments below, but I'll also mark it up here um, with the card. So you guys can check out that video. And they're gonna swap out. So I get a free attack here onto the Indominus Rex. Now I have to remember, if I'd had Thor, I probably would have knocked out that dinosaur, uh, whatchamacallit, right away, and then we'd have been fine. But I have to remember that it does 1876 damage, and it's going to put me in a position where um, it's going to put me in a position where I have to make that decision on what do I want to do? Do I want to swap out, or do I want to risk? I'm going to lose my Allosino here. I played that poorly. I should have gone with the, the impact. Which one do I want to go with? It's probably a bad play. I'm playing this poorly. I'm just going to go ahead and say this now. That I am playing it poorly. Because with Allosino, I should have gone with the non-priority move. Knowing that my opponent was going to to use their priority move and that would have saved my priority move for the next turn and not given them the free KO. Um, I'm going to go with my priority move here to get the stun, hopefully. No. Nothing's going right. So that is going to be the 3-1 loss. I'm not even going to put up a fight because if I swap out, then my Tenanta Rex is just going to take a beating from 
Stego DS, and I played that one really poorly. I, I could have done a lot better, and minus 29 trophies just kind of goes to prove how poorly I played that. The game thinks we were pretty even, and I lost three to one, so that means I played really poorly. Uh, nice, nice. Tupac, very good. All right, I'm not gonna be discouraged here. I just get my head right. That was the first battle of this video. I always lose the first one. I always lose a lot of them whenever I'm recording, but we're gonna get back into the flow of things. Hopefully, same type of build of team. And we got three out of the four again. Okay, um, again, I'm going to open with Eudorhinex. Typically, I would open with Indoraptor, but because this is a video about Eudorhinex and the Sino line of hybrids, I'm gonna go that route. Just know that my opponent might not be showing up for this battle, which will give me a free win. Again, see, this is why Eudorhinex is not the best of leads because so many people down here where I'm at lead with Spino and now I'm gonna have to take two damages to bleed because I, I, I can't do impact and run because I'm slower so I have to do the the charge which is gonna get the KO it's basically gonna KO me although I do have 123 left Theirs is no doubt faster than mine, since mine's a baby. And I let them have a setup turn, which creates a lot of problems. Um, this, also, this may be a bad play. I, I'm, in, I'm admitting this beforehand, that this might be a bad play. What I'm gonna try to do is get that down And I didn't. So here's what I'm taking away from that. Well, whoa. That was a terrible. I can't hit a crit to save my life. Um, what I'm taking away from all this is even though I want to showcase these dinosaurs, if they're not the best play, then I need to not be showcasing the dinosaurs and let them let them do what they're supposed to do. Let them play the role they're supposed to play. And so far, I've not done that. And that's gonna cause me to go down too. Maybe. I could still win this. Indoraptor, a couple dodges, a swap in. Hmm, what do we have here? 25. So because I'm the higher ranked level Indo, I'm gonna let them burn their evasive stance first. I hope I hit right through this, but this is gonna create a little bit of a problem. I'm definitely gonna to have to dodge some of these attacks. I think two. I'm gonna have to dodge this big one right here for sure. That's okay, so now I should be good. Um any of my moves will work. That was a crit too. And now, they're probably gonna swap out. Honestly, if I were my opponent, I would swap out because he can't survive this attack. For sure can't survive that. So, I salvaged a win there. It had nothing to do with the Sino line, but I evened the competition up at one battle apiece. I'm gonna play this one properly. And instead of leading a dinosaur that, that maybe or maybe not should have been led, and Utah Rhinox is not a terrible lead, but when you see so many uh, Sinos, or uh, Spinos, Spinos, Sinos, Spinos as leads, it, it's not great if you're in that, that range. So I'm gonna open it and see, once again, same thing. I'm gonna go evasive stance here. My opponent should probably do the critical impact, and they do. I wore that one bad. Now, I have to use Cleansing Impact here because if they do Lethal Wound, I can't survive the bleed. That was really fortunate. There's a couple ways to play that. This, the second move with Indoraptor is if you don't get hit by the crit, by the critical impact, then you definitely want to uh, 
just go with the Defense Shattering Rampage. I'm gonna get knocked out here. You wanna go with the Defense Shattering Rampage on turn two, even if you get bled, because then that'll allow you to be able to cleanse the swoop and, but since I get hit with critical impact, I had to go for the cleanse. This could hurt. There's is dodging a lot. Um, I have to go with the instant charge. Okay, I got the stun, and that's gonna free me up for Draco Rex, which is great. Would have been nice to be able to get the impact and run off, but that wasn't an option. So now I'm up two to one. My Uteronix is in trouble. Thor should, oh my god, level 25. I'm absolutely getting destroyed on this. Level 25? That's bad news for me. Because I can't survive anything with my Uterinex, which means I have to bring in my Allocino. Allocino is not as good as Thor. Rip. That was painful. Only minus 25. So, win one, lost two for this one. And um, probably need to start, no, probably need to start an incubator. But there you go. Let me know what you think. I know that wasn't the best showing. I, I also, I didn't play the first game properly at all. And in fact, I probably didn't even play the second one right. Um, but I did want to try to showcase these dinosaurs. And, and Thor, which is part of the showcase, was an absolute monster there at the end. But level 25, wow. Mm. Anyway, let me know what you think of those dinosaurs. I'm, uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to throw down a scent capsule while I'm in the park. But this is where this video ends. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Another little low-key day here. And uh, until next time.